हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन स्फेरिकॉन यूजिंग सरफेसिंग इन क्रियो पैरामीट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज एक्चुअल पार्ट एंड इफ यू सी द फ्रंट व्यू इट लुक्स लाइक दिस इफ यू सी द टॉप व्यू इट लुक्स लाइक दिस एंड इफ यू सी द सेक्शन व्यू it looks like this so let's design this part using surfacing once again and for that first you go to new part solid assign the name and say okay now here the complete part will be done using surfacing so to design this kind of part you must have good knowledge of surfacing and i will start this part with this feature and for this i'll go to revolve a surface revolve onto the front datum plane normal here first i'll place a datum center line somewhere here and then a sketch center line somewhere here now i'll create a line just like this i will mirror this line with the center line now the dimension so this angle is 45 degree and this gap is 5 now from here till here this is 25 this is the radius now the sketch is done i'll just say okay now here i will take 180 degree and symmetric and i'll say okay so the first feature is done now the second feature which is similar to first feature so once again go to revolve and this time you go with the top datum plane normal again a datum center line first somewhere here and then sketch center line somewhere here draw the sketch draw a line just like this mirror this line with this center line then dimension this angle is 45 degree and this gap is 5 now from here till here this is 25 say okay again 180 degree symmetric say okay so i have added two revolve features now the next feature is a sketch which is onto this datum plane so sketch normal now here i will draw a arc which is this one radius 25 so go to three point arc select this point and then you select this point and draw the arc this is radius 25 similarly one more arc somewhere here this will be equal to that then one arc here and then the last arc somewhere here so i have created four arcs just say okay now the next feature is a boundary blend feature so go to the boundary blend select this edge hold the control key and select this edge say okay same way you create boundary blend 
for all four corners now once this is done again boundary blend and this time you select this edge hold the control key and select this edge then you go for second direction and select this sketch hold the control key and then this sketch now once this is done right click here and say tangent go to constant and for this tangent change this value to 0.8 say okay same way this side go for boundary blend select this edge first hold the control key and then select this edge go for second direction select this sketch hold the control key and this sketch this one you make it tangent and change this value to 0.8 say okay one more time boundary blend this time you select this edge hold the control key and this edge go for second direction select this sketch hold the control key and then this sketch right click tangent make it 0.8 say okay similarly one more time boundary blend select this edge hold the control key select this edge second direction select this sketch hold the control key and this sketch this you make it tangent and change the value make it 0.8 say okay now once this is done merge all the quilts to make a single quilt so i'll just change to quilt and then i will select these quilts one by one like this and then i'll go to merge say okay now this became a single quilt now i'll create a sketch onto the top datum plane sketch normal here first you place a sketch center line somewhere here then go for palette select a six sided hexagon double click it place it here close it rotate it for 90 degree now drag this sketch somewhere here now this you make it 5 and say okay now this gap is 8.6 and then this gap is 8 make it 8 now you select this sketch control c to copy it and then control v to paste it rotate it by 55 degree say okay now place a sketch center line from this center normal to this line now you place a sketch point somewhere here and then use coincident select the center line and place it here add the dimension so this is 55 degree this gap from here till this point is 8.6 and then this side to this side this is 8 now select this sketch and mirror it to this center line say okay
Now select this sketch, go for project and select this surface, say ok. Same way one more time select this sketch, go to project and select this surface, say ok. Now select this quilt, go for trim, select this projected curve, flip outside, say ok. One more time select this quilt, go for trim, this time you select this curve, ok, select the quilt, trim, this curve, ok, select the quilt, trim, this curve, flip direction outside, ok, select the quilt, trim, select this curve, ok, select the quilt, trim, select this curve, ok. So, you must have this quilt filter to select the quilt. Now, I will change it to geometry. Now, once this is done, I will select this and I will go for thickness. I will take value as 2 and I will say ok. So, if you check the gap of this, this is 10. So, it is taken inside. Now, if you create the section view, it looks like this. Now, the next feature is filling this material and this material. So, for that first I will deactivate section view and then I will recreate a revolve feature, a surface revolve onto the front datum plane, normal. Place a datum center line somewhere here, then a sketch center line somewhere here. Now, draw the sketch. So, I will draw a line somewhere here, let it be symmetry. This you make it 15 and this gap is 18. Say ok. Again, this will be 180 degree symmetric. Say ok. Same way, one more revolve feature which is onto top datum plane, normal, place a datum center line somewhere here and a sketch center line somewhere here. Draw the sketch, a line like this, this I will take as 15 and then the gap from here till here, this I will take 18, say ok, 180 degree symmetric, change to surface and then say ok. Now, for time being I will just drag this handle up, I will first work this side and then I will go this side. Now, here you select this surface control C to copy and control V to paste. Just hold control key, select this surface, this surface and this surface, say ok. Now, along with this surface, select this and then you go for merge. See the preview, correct result I am getting, so I will say ok. Now, go for solidify and say ok. Now, if you go for section view, you are getting this material field. Same way, I will drag this down. I will select this surface, control C, control V. Hold the control key, select this surface, this surface and this surface, say ok. 
hold the control key and select revolve 4 and go for merge. Now here once again go for preview, we are not getting the correct preview, just flip this arrow outside, see the preview, this is correct, say ok and then go for solidify, say ok. Now if you go for section view, you are getting the correct result. Now the only feature left is round of radius 2. And for that go to round, select this edge, take value as radius 2 hold the control key and keep selecting all these edges. And say ok. Now you can hide this sketch and this projected geometry and your part is done. Now if you go for front view, it looks like this. If you go for top view, it looks like this. If you go for section view, It looks like this. So this was the Sphericon in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.